Today we're going to show you a prototype of the new Anglemaster Pro V2. Uh, this is the second version of a tool that was introduced just about a decade ago. It's a patented tool that uses the readout from a 6-inch digital caliper and allows us to determine very precise angularity. I'd like to point out a couple of the features. First, we have a positive stop for 90 degrees. So when you're done adjusting the square to, or the tool to whatever angle you want, you can get back to 90 just very quick without any further adjustments. Uh, the little piece of orange metal you see over here is a clamp that is used when you initially attach the caliper to the tool and then it's tucked away and never used again until you remove the caliper. Uh, we recommend that you keep a caliper on there full time. It makes the tool more accessible, more fun to use, and um, it's fast. A little bit about the way the tool works. Uh, we use the metric side of the caliper. That gives us 15,240 angle settings over this 90 degree quadrant. It's incredibly accurate. It will allow you to determine angularity to within 30 arc seconds. And for those of you who have uh, been a few years removed from geometry, an arc second is 1 3,600th of a degree. Uh, in the app, we have some conventions that I like to talk about. Number one, the tool reads obtuse angles direct. And that would be an inside obtuse angle where we would take the tool, uh, align the sides to whatever it is we're measuring, take that readout and convert it to angularity. You can also do inside, or excuse me, outside angularity by just attaching a square to one end and you can read the angle from the outside. So you have two options there. Also in the app, you're going to see the term angle of inclination. Angle of inclination is the angle between horizontal and this leg. We also refer to tilt angle. Tilt angle is this angle to 90 degrees. So between obtuse, angle of elevation, and tilt angle, we can come up with an angle that will solve just about everything that you would ever come up against in a shot. Uh, a couple of other interesting features, there are some bosses on the back. That allows the tool to sit flat. So if you do full-size drawings, uh, a lot of times when you're building pieces, you don't need to know the angle. You just need to pick it up off the full-size drawing. This allows you to transfer, which is great. Uh, you can also use a T-bevel if you'd like. The major difference between this uh, prototype and the production version is that the production version will have a V-groove in this leg. That will allow you to set, for example, your drill press table to a cylindrical stock or do rise and run settings with plumbing or whatever. So that part's pretty cool. Also, this side is magnetic, so we can use the tool as a square. You just take your six inch pocket rule, put it up on the board, and now we can set any angle we want, draw our line, and we have the ability to lay out lines to whatever we like. This is a terrific tool. On the back, we have all of the most common degree settings, including dovetails and whatnot, and most of the rest of the information that you need to make this tool uh, live up to its full potential is in our app. And let's go take a look at that right now. This is the new app for the Anglemaster Pro. It uh, is designed to run on iPads, iTouches, and the iPhone. Here's an example of it in the iPhone. I'm going to show you on the iPad today. Uh, for those of you who don't have an iPad, iTouch, iPhone, uh, but do have a smartphone, you'll still be able to get access to this on a link to a web page, and you'll have full functionality just as you see it here. Um, there are several sections to this app. The first one is the angle finder. Since the AngleMaster Pro will only measure obtuse angles, we use those angles to find all the other angles associated um, that you might need in a project. Now, an unknown angle, we just enter the caliper setting. We'll use 145.22 hit enter, and it gives us all of this data. It tells us what that obtuse angle is to three decimal places, tells us the elevation angle, which is the uh, deviation off of a horizontal plane, tells us the tilt angle, which is a deviation from 90, and a nice feature is, is that you may want to create a miter joint to fit that exact 172.892 obtuse angle, and it tells us what your miter gauge setting is going to be, the obtuse setting, and the caliper setting, corresponding to caliper setting to do so. Uh, there are times where you may want to know the elevation grade or slope of an unknown uh, angle. We use this in conjunction with the bubble level 
you set one leg down on the incline, raise the other leg up with the bubble level, it will give you a caliper reading and you plug that into the top and it will tell you the percent of slope, which is kind of fun. If you have a known angle, let's say we want to set to 122.3, it tells us that the caliper setting is 68.11. Same with the tilt angle. If you want to tilt your saw blade exactly 7.125 degrees, 7.125, hit enter. Caliper setting is 15.96. Elevation angle, same thing. If we need a 12 degree elevation angle, I'll make it 12 and a half. We set the caliper to 139.12. Ratio protractors. Uh, prior to the invention of uh, you know, precision protractors, people talked in ratios and for some skills uh, and construction trades, they still do, rise over run. A common one is an 8 to 1 ratio for making dovetails and hardwoods. We can actually find out exactly what that angle is by typing in 8 on one, 1 on the other and it comes out to 7.125. Caliper setting is 15.96, which if you remember, I did as a tilt angle up here earlier. It's the same reading. Uh, we have a segmented ring protractor for turners and whatnot. The accuracy of the, ang of the Angle Master Pro will allow you to set up your saw so that you don't have to hand fit that final piece. Uh, let's say we want segments, 15 segments. And it tells us that our miter gauge angle is 102 degrees. The caliper setting is what's important, 26.6. Compound miters. Compound miters are confusing to most people, even to me sometimes. And so we tried to simplify this. All you need are two pieces of information. And now this is for closed vessels. Number of sides, let's just say we're going to do eight. And the angle of inclination. The angle of inclination is the deviation from horizontal. So this is going to make a bowl-shaped compound miter uh, project. And let's say it's 45 degrees. And there are my miter gauge acute angle. And then it tells me that I need, in order to set my miter gauge, I should set the caliper to 35.85. It also tells me my blade tilt. And it tells me the caliper setting for the blade tilt. It just doesn't get any easier. It's a really cool app, and uh, we're pretty excited about it, and we're looking forward to your feedback. Uh, a couple of other features. Uh, we have a complete help section available, and uh, you also have the ability to do comp computations for friends who may not have this app, and um, you can email them the calculations direct from this app if you're connected to Wi-Fi or 3G network. So let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.